Hey, this is Timmy G. Welcome to my Logic Pro X tutorial mini series on how to make a synth riser five different ways. Each tutorial will explain how to make a synth riser in a different way. Even though I'm using Logic Pro in this tutorial series, you can use these ideas in just about any digital audio workstation. Let's get started. So before I get exactly into how to make these synth risers, I want to mention that there are all sorts of ways to make them sound great for the specific track that you're working on. And these might not sound perfect, but the point of this tutorial is to give you guys some ideas on how to make your own risers from scratch. So anyway, let's get started with the first synth riser, which is going to be just a synth with the MIDI roll. So I'm going to load uh, my ES2 synth, which I have right here. Uh, to get there, you just go uh, click here and then go ES2 right here. And the first thing that I'm going to want to do is go up here where it says factory default, go down to tutorial settings, and then analog saw initial. And because um, we are going to be using this as a riser. We only want one note playing at a time. So you can either do mono or legato. Uh, and for now, I'm going to do legato. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to end up turning the glide on and then starting from one note and keep putting other notes before those notes end, um, starting from a lower note and going all the way to a higher note. So I'll show you how to do that right now. So anyway, first I want to uh, make this sound a little bit better than just a sawtooth wave. So I'm going to open up the musical typing by hitting Command K. I'm going to go down a little lower. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is open up the second oscillator right here and then drag this in the middle, about 50-50. And now what I'm going to do is detune this. Um, so I'm going to bring this up 10 cents and then down 10 cents. And this is what we have. So it sounds uh, much wider. And I'm also going to turn um, unison on. And I'll, turn, I'll keep the number of voices six. And I'm going to turn this tuning up to about eh, 37. And the last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn the glide right now. It's on zero. I'm going to turn it all the way to about 600, about 640 right there. So what happens is if I play one note, and then a note that's higher or lower, it will glide to that note, and it will take this long, in this case, 640 uh, milliseconds to get there. So, like this. Um, just for reference, this is what, what it would sound like if it's on zero. So I'm gonna go back here. And now we're done with the ES2. So I'm gonna close out of this. I'll make this a little bigger. I'm hitting um, Alt and then scrolling, or Option and then scrolling right now. And I'm going to make a new MIDI region. And let's just say I'll make this build up eight bars. I don't know why my tempo is like this. I'm going to make this 150 BPM. So anyway, um, I'm going to click in. And let's say I'll start my note on... Uh, C1 right here. And I'm going to make this... I'll make it a half note. And the key to this build up, this riser, is I'm going to make my next note by clicking Alt and dragging it. It's going to make a copy. And now I have this note over here, which sounds like this. So here we can see the beginning of um, this rising synth. And all I'm going to do now is highlight them and keep making copies. So we can start to get that um, the pitch rising. So something like that. So now if I extend this out for, for eight bars, it'll sound something like this. Something like this. So that's the general idea of um, how to make the riser from the piano roll. 
Um, what I would suggest is, depending on how long you're, you want this riser to be going for, or depending on the type of track you're making, adjust how long uh, this takes. Maybe you might want it to be 16 bars. Maybe you might want it to be 4 bars. And also adjust how fast you increase the pace here. Right now, these are half notes, but I easily could have made these um, quarter notes. And I'll just do what that would sound like really quickly. So I'll make this. Again. And it'll, it'll rise much faster. Oh, there we go. And right now I'm going to hit Command A to select all the notes to save myself some time. And this is going to sound quite different because it's basically going to increase the pitch uh, twice the speed as it did last time. So that's the basic um, result that we're looking for when we're doing the piano roll. But other than that, that's about it. If you like this video or if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. If you want to see more content like this and check out my original music, DJ performances, or DJ tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Yeah.